Your home. To where you park your car. And even your local pub. Some of the central points in your life will have been built by the construction industry. It's a £160 billion business that employs more than 2.5 million workers. And at Folkestone College, the next generation are given a pathway into the industry. But there is a major concern. There's a growing and well-documented skill shortage in the construction industry, and one that could pose devastating consequences on both the county and the country's economy. In Building a Future, I'm going to be finding out just how big that skill shortage gap is and what the likes of Folkestone College can do to help plug that gap. For many of the students at Folkestone College, this is where their journey into the industry begins. At workshops and classes where they pick up key foundation skills to then go away and build foundations of their own. We have yeah, the full um, spectrum of construction trades here. Um, we have wood um, associated trades, we have painting and decorating, bricklaying courses and plastering courses, as well as general building maintenance courses here. Most of our staff, they come directly from industry, um, so they have specific industry skills and they've worked in the construction industry. Um, and then we support them with uh, planning for their lessons and becoming really competent teachers so we get the most out of our students. Coming onto construction courses um, has been really beneficial because they can really flourish with their skills and many of them, well the majority of our students, go on to full-time employment in the industry and actually they're actually given back um, into the trades and the industry and getting full-time jobs to support our local communities. I had over 20 years of industry experience before I came to the college and I've been with the college now for 15 years but I've kept links with industry whilst I've been here at the college. We not only pass on uh, skills and knowledge but we pass on what it's actually like to be in industry and there's nothing like that grounding in an industry to be able to pass on what it's actually like to really do it for real. Some of the important skills, believe it or not, are actually the maths and English skills. So we can actually embed those into what we're actually teaching. So our maths and English functional skills are all embedded around construction so that the students are constantly learning about construction as well as uh, their maths and English at the same time. So once they can actually function with maths and English, then the skills that they need, the hand tool skills, become a lot easier. Our college is very big on community days and getting our students out to use the skills that they're learning to benefit our local community. The Brick Lane students that you can see here working with us have been very active in King's North Gardens, going down there and rebuilding random stone walls, relaying paths, so they actually use the skills that they've learned in, in the workshop to actually go out in a real world situation and produce something that's actually going to last and be there for future generations to enjoy and in that way give back to the local community that they live in. My name is Craig Sampson, I'm 28 years of age, I'm studying Level 3 Bricklaying. My name is Stanislav Bellis, my age is 16 and I'm studying Painting Decoration at East Kent College, Folkestone. I'm Andrew Kezzy, I'm studying Level 1 Painting Decoration and I'm 20 years old. Students from the class of 2018 come from a range of diverse backgrounds and so far have picked up a number of valuable lessons. I was doing a little job before I started college and I enjoyed doing bricklaying for a bricklayer. Started off labouring and pointing and all sorts and then started getting on the trail and he said I recommend you go to college, get your qualification and hopefully go on to better things on site and earn more money and get your own little business going really. And what skills have you picked up so far in the course? How to lay bricks properly, level and plumb. I've learnt that even if I get something wrong, I have to try more harder, I need to try it and learn. And if I try, I get it better, and I get better at it. The most interesting is cutting in how to paint straight lines and how to be a different kind of style of paint with different pictures you can print on the walls as well. It is a lot more difficult than you think. If first we think, oh, it's easy, you're just painting lines, but it's not, it takes a bit more time and effort as a real person and as a real painter as well. A busy workshop, unfortunately, is not quite a reflection on the wider industry. 
A report into the sector found an additional 36,000 new workers will be needed before 2020. An ageing workforce and less young people coming through the ranks have both contributed to the skills gap, leaving the construction industry facing an employment crisis. I saw some figures a little while ago that said there was about uh, 350,000 jobs in construction in this industry every year available. Only about 120,000 students went on to actually study in those areas. So, you know, there's more job opportunities out there for students than are actually being taken up at the moment. And uh, that's the message we need to get across to secondary age uh, students. With 28 apartments spread over three blocks, Victoria Crescent, set in the heart of Ashford, will take 18 months to complete after beginning construction in January. It's a project and one of numerous projects being delivered by the Jenner Group, as well as alumni from Folkestone College. To those on site, the skill shortage is a desperate issue. I think uh, the industry has long been perceived um, as sort of a second choice route, so perhaps for people who are, are less academic, um, as a, just a, a job for people out on site, but actually there's such um, an array of job opportunities available from people from professional, um, such as an architect or an engineer, a quantity surveyor, to the trades that are essential out on site, but there's such variety, there's over 186 careers in construction, so we need to get that message out to the young people, to their parents, to anyone who's going to influence in the, them in their career choices, so that they know that the industry is open to them and, and they're needed and there's jobs available. Well the average age of a bricklayer on site is about 52, so you know that is the, the, the generation that is in the industry and that's where we need to increase um, awareness of the industry for everybody to go into. And just because you start off you know, in a trade doesn't mean you can't go on to be the managing director of a company. A lot of the company directors now and bigger pro um, companies are started off with a trade. As well as young people, there's an increasingly concerted effort to attract women into construction, who currently make up less than a fifth of the sector. Nowadays, there's again huge opportunity for, for women. They don't have to choose between a family or a career. They can have both because there's such flexible working opportunities. Most employers in the industry are just delighted to have women into their industry. They make really, really good employees. So um, again, it's just again encouraging women um, to go out there and, and be, be bold and, and just go for it really and get involved in the industry. When I started over 30 years ago, it was, it was exactly the same. There was very few women in the industry. And it's not an industry that's promoted to girls really. I mean we're missing out on 50% of the population by not um, introducing it as an industry at school really. With a pledge to build 300,000 new homes a year, the government said education will be playing a major role in their construction drive. We do need to have more people trained actually working in construction. There's a fund that the Department for Education has allocated for the sector around £24 million and the uh, Construction Industry Training Board is managing that so that we're looking at things like bricklaying and other forms of construction and therefore how we are getting more training, the new qualifications that will be coming in from about 2020 to get young people into build, into construction. There's a whole new arena that we're entering into on other things such as modern methods of construction where you effectively build whole or part of your house in a factory away from the site and how that's unlocking more people into the sector and actually looking at different ways that we can get different people who may think they're either too old or don't fancy working out on the site into the construction process. So there's a lot going on, there's a lot more that we want and need to do, but it's how we get up to that trajectory of building 300,000 new homes a year by the mid-2020s, remaining on track and actually delivering that vision. So how do those in the industry go about attracting both a larger and more qualified workforce? Well, technology seems to be one of the answers. The construction industry is ripe for disruption, it really is. I mean, what's going forward now with the BIM, building information modelling and the technology, it really is the digitalisation of the industry is coming in the next couple of years. And that's really attractive to the youngsters at school because it's their generation they are going to take this forward. Kids love Minecraft. I mean, it's, it's about building things on a screen. They can actually build things on site with, um, with the technology that we have now. Social media is such a, a good platform now. We need to really be utilising that to say, come on, look, construction is... is 
is great, there's so much opportunity, come and get involved and hopefully bringing young people through will naturally change that sort of negative stigma that's associated. You know, the industry is buoyant, we need to shout about that and, and uh, we're always going to need construction so um, it is actually a long term career opportunity. The college needs to embrace that construction is an industry that's never going to go away, it's all about um, even if there's a recession there are houses still being maintained, there's schools being built, everything still needs to continue um, and the industry at the moment is absolutely rife and you just need to get the kids into it. Which brings us back to education. Though colleges are producing workers, it's accepted there's a need to challenge and change perceptions. I think a better understanding in school would help. Uh, in my days we actually did woodwork and metalwork as a course at school. Unfortunately that's not an option under the modern curriculum that secondary schools offer, so sometimes there's a lack of knowledge in school about what actual job opportunities there are for students to go on to once they've left the secondary school situation. Kent and the rest of the country look to be facing a construction crisis. Industry experts though claim there are opportunities aplenty if there are the numbers to match. For folks in colleges class of 2018, there is still hope for what the future holds. If you went out in the world and didn't go to college, you won't know what you're doing or how you're supposed to be doing this work or if you never picked up any new skills, you've been like struggling all your whole life and you wouldn't have any skills or whatever to use. I feel like we can get far with this. We have loads of choices that this college has given us. We can get quite far, we can achieve our goal. It's quite important because there's a shortage of bricklayers at the minute and they all need them everywhere so it's a big shout out really so hopefully get a few of us there on site and earn more money and do well really. Can those aspirations be met in the coming years? As we heard the industry is never going to go away where there always needing to be houses, car parks, pubs and more. But there will also need to be students coming through the likes of Folkestone College in order to build that future.